everybody and welcome back to my channel. We're on to part two of the photo series thingy. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Today I'm going to talk to you about the different props that I use for photos. And I have a lot. There's like some up there, some up there, some up there. I know. So I'm going to go through some of my favourite props that I use on rotation for photos. Um, some you'll probably recognise, some you'll be like, oh my god I'm sick now but you just buy something else. And I'm like, okay. First up, twinkly lights. Now I know that this is mangled. This is one of those little copper wire sets from Pennies. I think they're four year or six year old. Um, I know, and I have this. Okay, so I have one of them like this, and I have some in here to try and protect them. So this is one of those glass cloche things, which is a great little prop as well for photos. FYI, that's from Pennies as well. Um, but I used blue tack. Oh, it kind of fell off to stick the wires in there or to stick the lights in there. So when you go, oh, the battery's wait, there, ding. I don't think that's so cute! And if you have the 45mm lens that I spoke about in my first video about all the tech that I use, this will turn that into blurry gorgeousness. Mm. I love an L twinkle, like I'm actually the queen of the twinkles. I favour more of the warm tone twinkles, but Joanne got lights for her Christmas tree this year, or just the Christmas that just went, and they were beautiful. I'm going to insert photos as I go along, if I can find them, um, using some of the props in photos. I have this one that's all scrunched up because I like to use this as like a little light source behind something. Um, like for example, I'm trying to like figure out something that's clear. So what I'll do is like, let's say this is something that's clear. Imagine this doesn't have the white stuff in it. If I have this behind it and turn them on, the product will be illuminated. But twinkles are great. Any kind of like lights are just brilliant because they add warmth and like interest to a photo. Okay so next up we have backgrounds. Now backgrounds play a huge part for me when it comes to photos because sometimes I want a busier one, sometimes I want a plain one, sometimes I want wooden one. Hold on I'll show you. So these are really handy. Ooh, they're like what's that thing called? Like painting? Painting board? Oh I don't know what it's called. It's not canvas. It's just like painting. I don't know. I used to have foam board, which has like a slightly shiny surface like this, this other side. Um, but it got like all scutchy and bent and dirty. So I was looking for a replacement for my foam board. You can get the foam board in craft shops or in Eason's. Eason's or Eason? But these are really handy for if I want, <laughs> so if I want to do like a plain flat lay, I'll have one of these, put the photo, or put all the products there, photograph from above, Happy days. It's just like a nice to have a plain white background, and then you can add like your props on top of that as well. Or if I want to have some, oh shit. Or if I want to have a white base and background, I'll go like that. That's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Yes. Because people keep sending me pictures of you know those little light boxes, and it's like a little um, canvas box, and like you put your light somewhere. I don't know. No. I just, I feel that like it contains the product and it just contains my juju and my inspiration where I just need to, ha and I need to like put like loads of stuff, not kind of just have it at just one angle. Yeah, so, I mean, by all means knock yourself out. Like I did used to have one of them and I never used it. So, love plain white backgrounds. And then one of my favorite shops for props is The Range. So there's one at Liffey Valley and there's one in Kulak. Just Google the address and I'll tell you where it is. And their stuff is so affordable and it's so good quality and you can just get loads of different things. They're always like restocking and bringing in new rain, new ranges. <laughs> but I discovered these last year, I think it was. So this is a Christmas one and they're, it's craft paper. I never actually used this in the end. So this is a little Christmas one and it's double sided paper and something like, yeah, it's 12 by 12. So it's a perfect square. So you can either keep it in the paper. Ooh. So if you wanted this to be the base and this to be the background or vice versa, or you can rip the pages out and just use them as a flat lay thingy. I would use them for kind of maybe single or two products, not like a whole melange, because I think that's kind of small for a flat lay, but that's so cute. And then they have bigger ones. I think this is around, ooh, I thought this one fall. These are around the 20 euro marks. They have like a floral version, like so. I don't know if they still have these in stock, like these particular ones, because I got them last year. And then, I really liked this one. This is like a modern deco one, like an art deco. Cute. Anyway, so I have like a few of those, so it just gives me kind of different options if I want to have a plain background or like a more textured background. And they're usually good for products that are plainer in like design. Like see a product like this note primer, that's quite plain. And see the way it has like kind of like a pearl finish and like a silver bottom. So I have this one that has kind of purples and stuff. So I would usually go through like see, it would like stand out against something like that. 
do you know like imagine the photo I can. Another thing that's kind of cheap and affordable are placemats for backgrounds. So I love circular ones like that. Oh, I still have the tag on this. Got this in Maison du Monde last year in Spain. And that was four euro. These are good for like single products, par exemple, like that. But like you would take it at an angle like that. Like you wouldn't take it flat on, you would take it at an angle. Um, but yeah, they're really cute. So I have like that one, I have a silver one, like a little one with a gold fleck. And then I have this one from, I think is our home. I could love to be one of those people that has like a team, but I just always want to try new things, new variations, new things to keep me interested and to keep all y'all interested as well. Because if I have this on a marble background, this on a marble background, this on a marble background, it would just be like, oh my God, it's so boring. Well, for me anyway. But in fairness, I do be liking the marble backgrounds on other people's photos, just not mine. Another background that I love, wallpaper. Now you can buy samples of these. I always buy the rolls. Um, I'll tell you why now in a second. Like you can buy samples, but I just like to have the freedom of doing stuff with it. And then if I mess it up, then I'm kind of go, oh, hold on, let me just unroll some more. Um, yeah, I think you can buy samples on Amazon or like go to shop and see if you can get a sample. But I just, as I said, like to have the freedom. So what I've done in the past is, you probably will recognize this. I will use this area here as photos. Like if I'm doing not flat lays, if I'm doing kind of standy uppy shots, I don't know if there's a term for that. And um, so I'll use this as my background and sometimes I'll want to use the wood as the background and as the bottom as well of the photo. So I will pull this door out. These are the Alex on casters. And then I will unroll the wallpaper, sit it in there, and then I have like a little table here from Ikea on the bottom. But this will give you an idea. So imagine this is the bottom. So I'll have the product sitting, sitting here. So it will have the wood as the back and as the bottom. Do you get me? Like let's say I'm like, oh my god, I'm after spilling the product on here, then I can rip it off and kind of start again. Well, I just like the idea of the wood, and then I have this one as well. It's like a whitewashed wood for summer do bits. I discovered these rolls of fabric, not last Christmas, the Christmas before in what's that place called? Johnstown Garden Centre. Garden centres are brilliant for props, FYI. Some of them can be dear, some of them are not so dear. And um, but I saw this one, it's like this Hessian fabric with holly and berries with like little gold accents. So I was like, oh my god, that's cute. And then last the Christmas that just went, I saw these in the range. So I got a red one and a gold one. They're fabric, so there's a lot of movement in them. So I can, again, put it on the back here and use them like so as the background and as the bottom. And I used them in a recent photo shoot. <laughs> like before Christmas, I did a collaboration with Loxitan. See all the twinkles here. So when you use that 45 millimeter lens and you have your product kind of far away from the background, this will blur, this will give all like the gold kind of twinkles. I don't know where else does those, but I'm thinking, I know I got those in the range. I got these ones then just after Christmas in the sale. This has kind of like a pearlescent, like a green and purple twinkle to it. And then this just like a regular silver. So I'm gonna put those away for next Christmas. Remind me I have those, please. Something that I love in life as it is, but then also as props for photo or notebooks. I got this one from my Secret Santa at work and I already used this in a photo. I'll insert it here. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, that's going to make a gorgeous prop for a photo. I just didn't know what the product was. And then I had this little perfume from Rituals. And when I saw it, I was like, notebook. Like I hadn't seen this notebook then in a few weeks, but I saw the thing and I was like, oh my God, that would go perfect with that. And you'll see why. And I bought that case page, a little dotty one um, in HomeSense for a photo. I haven't written any yet. For me, when it comes to photos, I love greenery. I love plants. I love flowers. Not always real, because I can't keep them alive. Hopefully the daffodils are going to be out soon, which I love. So I need to start like thinking what products will go nicely with daffodils, remember them and have a vision. So at the moment, I'm going towards the fake flowers, the fake greenery, because they're there. I can put them away when it comes to winter. Um, and yeah, I know. Oh, I just realized I do have like a real plant. I bought this last week. Oh my God, this is leaves going funny already. Look at him. It's a little, oh my God. The real thing is called, the English is nerve plant, but it's called, I can't remember. And it's like green with, look, with pink veining. I hope I can keep her alive as long as possible. Um, but I bought this purely for blog photos because I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I was like, she's so cute. In terms of fake flowers and greenery and everything, I love Home Sense and TK Maxx are brilliant for that. And garden centers. And I bought this, this is like cherry blossom things, I think. Oh my God, does that not scream spring? And I bought two, so I kind of leave them on top of my little shelfy thing over there. Um, but then I take them down when I want to do my photos. I took photos of these recently in the background of these products, like from Ella and Joe, because see the way they have flowers on it? And I was like, oh my God, that'd be so cute. And it was, 
because I always think my props have to go with the this because like to me this does not go with that do you know this goes with that it tells a story I know I sound mad anyway love those I love these I bought these in Johnstown Garden Centre last year this is a deadly little thing I don't know I again don't know the prices and um, first of all I love these and I kind of use these as mats kind of flat down I used this last year for um, like flat in a photo but then also to cast a shadow when it was sunny outside one of the days and I think I was taking photos of SPF um, and I was at the back and it was sunny and so I was able to kind of position this in such a way that the sun came down through it and created a shadow over the products and then I bought these last year in Spain in Maison du Monde which I can't wait to visit again so I loved I still I love them love them I love them they're placemats I thought they would be just fantastic for photos I loved using these with kind of more yellow toned they're like look Arr amazing so I have this yellow tray that's in a cupboard there that I'm not going to take out but I will insert a photo here um so yeah I just went mad in Zara home Maison du Monde they just had amazing stuff last year in Spain and it's worth me going back to Spain for but see things like that they're mats like place mats but they will not be used as place mats um I'll just be using them for photos in the summer last on the greenery I bought this last year in Tiger it's just a little roll of fake grass because sometimes you just don't have grass or you don't want to have to go outside I can't remember how much it was but it's handy like I wish it was a little bit wider but again I can use this as the back part and then the, the bottom like that do you know if I need but sometimes it's just handy to have green grass like not grass that has weeds in it like we have outside and I do love to use real flowers as well in my photos I took one um, a couple of years ago with tulips um, and I used makeup sponges I'll show it to you, I'll insert it here if I can find it and I loved how it turned out because you couldn't tell the difference between the tulip and the makeup sponge something else that I am <laughs> A little bit of a fan of is a tray. A tray? Yeah, a tray. I don't know why. A couple of years ago, I bought these trays in a Corte Inglés in Spain. So I just thought that they were really summery. And I have used those for photos as well. Let's say if you saw a plain tray like this, there's nothing stopping you from painting it or spray painting it and kind of doing it up like doing a little bit of a Catherine DIY. I bought this tray recently. Isn't it beautiful? So this is 9.99 in TK Maxx. And I just loved the whole rose gold thing. And I bought this specifically for these lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. So they sent them before Christmas. And I was like, oh my God, it actually matches perfectly. This is in my mind. I'm looking at this gun. I think that's the same rose gold as like the Charlotte Tilbury thing in this. It's so cute. And I took really nice photos of that. See, something like this, you can use in loads of different ways. So like you can use it like flat down as long as you're not in the photo. Because nothing worse than kind of you seeing you in the mirror. Um, but you can use twinkles, like the reflection of twinkles. You can use it at different angles. So you can use it flat down, you can use it sideways, you can use it this way so that you're looking through this part and just play with your photos. That's why whenever I'm taking a photo of like one thing, it will take me ages because I'm trying loads of different things. And I'm like, no, that's not it. I don't have to feel, I'm not kind of going, ooh, that's the money shot. I say money shot, ain't nobody paying me. In fairness, I have done photos for some brands, just on my Instagram, it's mostly my own stuff. My, I'll show you my little corner on that side now in a second because pretty much everything there that I have props. I'm a fan of an L mirror when it comes to photos and you can just be really creative and try different things with it. So I'll show you this plain one and then this one. Whoa, where did I get them? The range. I can't remember. A few euro. That one a few euro. We see that. Oops. See that this one has kind of sparkles on the top. So my vision for that was. Wouldn't that be deadly if you had light bouncing off of this, but you had the product here so that this became all the blurry background. And I have, I've done a photo with for a brand using this and it turned out really cool. So I bought these in the Arboretum Garden Centre last weekend in the Christmas section. They were half price. So just like a small little mirrored tray. But I like the way it had the gold detailer on the side. And then I just bought one coaster. Why did I only buy one? I don't know. I just had a vision. And I did use this, the circular one, in a photo there recently, um, along with products that are over here in this corner. Come here and I show you. This little corner, it has props, as you can see. I oh, know. So I love having like, little quoted things like that that I can have in the background of photos, if need be. This rose gold mirror is from Penny's. That is from like Home Sense or TK Maxx, as is that one. And then I bought this fake plant in the Orchard Garden Centre last weekend. It was like 12 99 But I loved the fact that it was like really full, really green. And I used it in a photo there last week. This 
candle is from Lalabo, and then this mirrored tray is from Zara Home. Bought it a couple of years ago for photos, and I have used that in shots. And this is just a placemat from Zara. So this is my Calyx unit. The bottom part just has products and random stuff, which I need to go through and declutter. And then these four here, I used for decor, I used for um, photos, I used for my background when I'm filming some videos. I bought this at Leaf Decor Piece in Johnstown Garden Centre, and I loved it. It was like $6.95 bought this version here as well um, and then I thought like a nice fake succulent would be cute that's the range that candle so it's nice to have it in the background um, home sense um, and I can't remember where oh I think this is the range it's just like a textured kind of vintage grey and white tray which yeah, I like to have I don't know this, I know that doesn't go all together but I just thought it was cute so here we have a mug and mugs make for um, a dinky little background I think that's the little design and I just thought that this I only put that there recently so this is a spray from Molten Brown and I thought that it kind of went with the flowers here. So the flowers, they're actually, hold on now. So this, this little thingy is from Matalan. I bought that um, before Christmas and I like they had like a little pearl finish, but you can get something similar in pennies. And then I bought this for a collaboration that I did a while back. And it's just like fake flowers on a little circly thing. Like you could use that as a wreath if you wanted, but I think it was lovely. And then down here is a little gold area. So I have this. My mum is so cute. She was in Spain last year and she bought me this in Zara Home for photo props. I was like, that's so cute. It's like a little gold um, placemat. And then these bits, I think all of them are from HomeSense or TK Maxx. But it's just, it's nice to have stuff like that that's mirrored, that's clear, that has the gold detail that looks really nice with kind of twinkly lights and products. And I just have YSL stuff in there because I have a vision. Then the final little thing, so the little love heart wicker basket is from the range and the flowers are, I'll show you, I bent them up to make them fit in there. Get in. Um, they're from TK Maxx. And then the mug, it's very Instagrammable. I've never drank anything out of it before. And I bought that in, I think it was Next last year. I thought it was dinky. And then this little tray I bought again for a collaboration for a brand. Um, it's a little tray from TK Maxx. But yeah, I just have like loads of little pieces that I can use for photos, that I can mix and match, that I can do whatever I want with them and change it up and just be adventurous and be creative. Okay, I know that that was a lot to take in. It's very sunny out now, so it's going to change the lighting. Um, but like even something like that, that's a little coaster. It's a marble one from Pennies. I think I've got a set of four. It's three euro and it has a rose gold edge. But you see, I didn't buy this for putting my cup on. No, I bought it for products. So like imagine this. It's very Oh, that's better. So imagine this with like the hem on it, but at this angle. So imagine like you see this corner here with like those. Trust me, it'll be a daddy photo. <laughs> I know that that was like a lot to take in, but it's just one of my vices is to buy products for props for photos. I can't help it. I can. I just, that's why I don't let myself go into shops because I just be like, like at the moment I have this urge in me to go to HomeSense and look for stuff, but no, I don't need any stuff. Anyway, I hope that this video gave you some inspiration, some ideas. Let me know what props you like to use for your photos. And if you're on Instagram or if you have a blog, leave a comment below um, and I'm going to go check you out. And everybody check each other out and we can go follow each other and kind of get inspiration and just start to be more creative with our photos and try new things. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.